Hey you guys, Courtney here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to me. So glad you clicked on my video. I really appreciate it. If you will, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap that ringy dingy bell for notifications on my uploads. I do not have a schedule. I told you guys I would continue to say that until I make a schedule for myself. So I still don't have a schedule, but I do upload, upload when I can. So hopefully you guys will hit that bell so you will know when I upload. Today I am so proud and so happy to say that I am doing a collaboration with my good friend from England, Madeline Elizabeth. She is such a sweetheart. She is such a beautiful girl. She is just, she is just, I just love her so much. Um, when I first saw her videos um, a while ago, um, I, I saw her somehow and um, she just stood out to me and um, I reached out to her and I started talking to her and we've been buddies ever since so Madeline thank you so much she doesn't do a lot of collaborations so thank you so much for doing this with me I think it will be so fun um, so basically what we're doing is we are working with the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and we both have that and we decided that we would do um, both do a look with it with our own style and our own technique and then we would switch videos we would swap I would send her my video she would send me hers and then we would do a video of each other like I'll do a video watching her video and trying to copy what she does and she will do the same with me and then we will post those videos so there'll be four videos all together and by the time it's over with I will link everything down below so there will be a video of me doing my look which you're fixing to see then there will be a video of me copying her look and then it will be the same with her. There will be a video of her doing her. There will be a video of her doing her look, and then there will be a video of her copying my look. So it's going to be so much fun, and I cannot wait to see how it turns out. So today I am going to be doing my look on the Urban Decay palette, the Urban Decay Smoky palette, and these are the colors on the inside of this palette. And you guys already know that I got this palette from my friend Amy, and I kind of switched her the chocolate bars for it because I wanted to try it so badly and every time I've tried to use it my eyes have gone wackadoodle so I'm so excited to be able to do this today. So I thought this is a perfect time to do a great look, a look that I've been wanting to pull out of this palette since I looked, laid eyes on it. So this is the look that I came up with and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. This is also a tutorial so feel free to follow along if you want. Um, I am going to be doing some tu tutorial videos and I am taking requests for tutorials as well. So if there's anything you guys want to see, click on any of my tutorials and that will be, and you can leave it at the bottom or contact me personally. All my information will always be down below. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, you know the drill. Keep on watching. I'll see you soon. As I said in my intro, I'm going to be working today with the um, Urban Decay Smoky Palette. And this is in collaboration with my friend from England, Madeline Elizabeth. So what we decided to do was get together and we decided to um, pick a palette that we both have. And um, we we're going to basically do looks with both of the palettes. And then we swapped links and we are going to follow each other's own tutorials because we have a different style and um, she's she's more in the softer you know um, to the softer looks and you know she she doesn't experiment too much with a lot of color but she's trying to and I'm so happy to see that on her um, it's I think she's beautiful and I think that her skin that any color will look good on her skin but um so and me I'm just all out there bold and just you know I put whatever on and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't so we're going to be working with the smoky palette and I'm going to do my look and my tutorial and which you guys are welcome to follow along as well and then I will send it to her and you guys will see all these videos on all the same day so that's basically what's happening. So I'm gonna get out my stuff. I am gonna do my eyes before I do um, my foundation or anything because I know that there is a little bit of fallout in that palette. And with the colors that I do wanna use, um, I'm not trying to challenge you, Madeline, I'm not. <laughs> but the colors that I wanna use, I do wanna make sure that I get, um, you know, a, a good color base laid down before I put on my foundation. I don't want a lot of fallout or a lot of shimmer fallout. 
um, and then I'm just going to do my foundation and come back and then show you the look. So um, it's going to be a complete tutorial. I'll tell you every brush I'm using and so forth and so on. So I'm going to get my stuff together and then I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes as well. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so um, I went ahead and put on just a plain concealer. Um, Madeline, I used the Naked Skin just um, concealer for my eyes because I do know that this palette has a pretty good bone color in it that can use to lay down um, some color. So I'm going to start by tapping into the 13 color right here, and that is going to be my base color for this look. And I'm going to, I'm just using a brush that's just like super wide and super fluffy that I really love to use to put down just a base color. And I'm just going to run this all over the lid. Okay, <clears throat> one fun fact about me and Madeline that are so much alike, they're so much similar, is that we both use both hands for our eyes. So when you see her video, you will see um, that she actually does use both hands for her eyes as well, So which is pretty cool. We, um, yeah, we, we're, we're very similar in that Next, way. Next, I am going in with the color Password, and that is this gray color right here. I love that color. And I am going to lay down a soft gray transition um this is a royal and Lang nickel brush and it is um a bx66 and it looks like this it is it's uh the it's pinched off at the end but it is kind of fluffy and i don't have hooded eyes and i don't madeline doesn't have hooded eyes either so but anyway so i'm going to go ahead and tap my brush off and i'm just going to run this long ways through the crease I'm going to run it all the way in. So we are going high crease with this as well. And I'm going to blend it into the high crease. What I'll do is I'll do, I'll, I'll do one eye and then I'll go back and do the other one and fast forward. Like I'll, you know, I'll do each step and <laughs> fast forward. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my blender, and the blender that I like to use is my Sigma um, E35. And that is this brush, and it's very, very fluffy. It's kind of stiff at the same time, but it really does help get things blended very well. We're blending. I'm also going to take the same brush here. And I'm going to tap back into that color and I'm going to run it up in the high crease not so much on the inner corner but focusing on the outer so that way I can kind of blend upwards Now I'm going to take a pointed blender. Where's my pointed blender? That's my English accent, Madeline. Don't laugh at me. All right, so this is like a more pointed blender, and this is a Sigma Firm Blender, and it's E44. That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to take this out of the center, and I'm going to feather here, feather out. I know that I'm going to be putting foundation on, so this will end up getting covered up anyway, so I will go back and actually tweak this when I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other eye and fast forward.
okay so now I want to take um, <clears throat> the dagger color which is this super dark color right here right y'all <laughs> Madeline, don't get scared, baby. Don't get scared. It's going to be okay. And I'm going to take my um, M443, and this is like a really fluffy, just flat, fluffy goat brush, goat hair brush. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to dip this into that dagger color, and we are going to just have fun in this corner, okay? Okay, and then I want to take a detail crease brush. This is kind of a smaller fluffy brush. Now I want to dip into the smolder color, which is right here. That is the purple. Don't be mad at me. Mm. Madeline said she hates purple. But I promise you, this is not going to look bad on you. Plus, this isn't like a real purple purple. So, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Alright, and I'm going to run this through the crease. I'm going to run this through the crease. You can kind of touch on that outer edge just a little bit. But really run it through the crease. And then I'm going to blend that out. Going to do the other eye. Fast forward. Okay, sweetie. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to take the color uh, more, and that is like this simmer, uh, sh simmery, <laughs> shimmery color right here, and we are going to use that with our finger, and we are going to put that on the outside of the lid. All the way about halfway in. And then you want to take that first color that we went into, that um, the password color, this one, that gray, and you want to tap back into that. And we're just going to kind of go over that just a little bit, just to not make that shimmer be too crazy. And then we are going to go into the bright shimmer that's in here, and that is the high color. That's this one. And we are going to also use our finger. And we are going to place that right next to the smolder color, or the Amore color, excuse me, the Amore color, but not on the inner corner. Not on the inner corner, <laughs> just like right here. Because we still want to keep, I mean, if you accidentally get it over there, it's fine. We can go back over it, but we still want to try to keep, um, keep that purple on the inner corner. I, I accidentally got a little bit on there, so I'm just going to go back in with the purple. And I'm going to bring that in like so. Okay, now I'm going to blend this back out like a 
sponge for this, but I'm going to use a flat brush because I know you would have a flat brush. So I'm just going to kind of go over all of this. I'm going to do the other eye really quick. <clears throat> okay, so I have done what I'm going to do with my top lid for right now. I am going to go put some other makeup on. I'm going to cover my face. Um, I'm going to make sure I get all the fallout from underneath my eyes because those glitter shades um, kind of give you some fallout. That's part of the reason why I wanted to put on this first, especially that that high shade. I mean, once you look at your face afterwards, it's like glitter city. So, definitely want to get all that fallout first and then I will be back with a full face of foundation and all that good stuff. I'll be back. Okay, so I have my foundation, I've done my brows, um, I have done blush, um, some bronzer, and a little bit of highlight, and yeah, so I've got all that part done because there is um, something that me and Madeline do that is very similar, so super similar that it's scary. Um, she does it with a highlighting powder, but I do it with a highlighting crayon, so I wanted to show you guys that. Instead of going up top up here with a um, with a matte or a, a color eyeshadow um, I have been using this <laughs> this <laughs> inspire pencil and I've been using this peach shade because it's very very much like skin tone and I will just kind of run this up through my brow bone area like this I'm sure you guys have seen this if you've watched my other tutorials and then I do both sides and it almost carves out that brow but not like I don't have to dip into the concealer or anything so this is a really good pencil and then I take a flat brush a pointed flat brush or it doesn't have to be pointed it really doesn't matter what kind of brush you use but you go through and you just blend it and she actually uses a highlighting powder to do this same con this is the same concept to kind of tame down any kind of harsh lines that might have occurred up there if you don't want those harsh lines because the concealer and the powder I mean the um, foundation actually kind of fiddled with my with my look so and I knew it would and, and I planned for that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that original transition color and that was the password color that I used. And I'm going to take that brush, the fluffy brush, and I'm just going to kind of go back in here and just fill in here where, where that foundation kind of cut it off a little bit and also where that pencil that I used. Because I don't like lines, harsh lines up top, but um, I like for my the edge of my brow bone to be quite covered in color. So I'm doing that. Pencil brush from BH Cosmetics. It's a 105 pencil brush here. I'm going to take the password color, the same color, the transition color here. And I'm going to run that along the lash line, starting in the corner. It is storming outside here, you guys. Storming. Alright, now I want to take the same pencil brush and I'm going to wipe that off and I'm going to take that gunmetal color, um, that's the more color, and I'm going to bring that up on the higher la lash line 
up here. For this one, I don't want to make it too dark, which I know Madeline's probably freaking out right now. Don't freak out, honey. It's okay. You can do this. You can do it. I know you can. Um, that lighter color, that 13 color, the original bone color, I'm going to go into that one. And I'm going to run this back right through the middle here. I'm going to try to lighten up that inner, the inner portion. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight with my favorite brush. This is my pencil brush that's like smudgy, it's pointy, it's soft, and I just love it. So inner corner highlight, I am going to use the same color that I used in, in like in the inner corner here. And that is going to be the, what color is that? Hi, <laughs> hello. Cheers. Okay, so I push my inner corner highlight in here and spin. same brushes you can use it however you want do whatever you want whatever is easier for you okay okay so um now it is time for me to do my liner and madeline you can do whatever liner you want um all right so i'm going to use this Too faced this is a waterproof um perfect eyes waterproof eyeliner um, this is one of my favorite eyeliners to use because it actually goes, you know, sometimes you get the shimmers and they don't want to play nice with um, your eyeliner. Your, or should I say your eyeliner doesn't want to play nice with your shimmers? Well, these two face liners do. Except this one likes to fall out. <laughs> but it's okay. I can still use it. It still works. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with an eyeliner. I'm not going to do a crazy wing, so I'm not doing that, so... I'm gonna start in the middle and I always start in the middle and then I just come out and then I go for the inner so no wing and this is almost like a grayish um, it's called the perfect storm yeah perfect storm just like what's outside my house right now <laughs> um it's almost like a charcoal it has a little bit of shimmer and it. it's actually very beautiful I just don't like how it falls out all right and then I'm gonna go on the lower lash line but not on the water line and I'm gonna bring it about a third of the way in and leave that just like that and then I'm gonna take the other end of this liner and there is a smudger on it and I want to take and smudge that bottom liner outwards like that around here somewhere I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put my mascara on off camera I'm gonna use a black roller lash mascara by benefit and then I will come back and we will do our final thoughts and our final look and I will see you soon Okay, so I am back, and I did use my roller lash mascara, um, this, and then I used my dose of colors. Um, this is in the color Lazy Daisy. This is a very beautiful nude, and I just thought it would look really good with this look. So, this is the final look. And now, I was thinking while I was doing all this that, you know, if you decide you don't want to, to have this, you know these harsh lines out here if you don't want it lined up like this you know Madeline you can could take a you know a blender and you can just kind of spin this out you know you could do your own take on it you know however you want to do it but I just think that these colors will look amazing on you and I think that this is going to help you get outside of your comfort zone and do something that you don't normally do and I know that's what you've been wanting and I hope I was able to help you do that um, and I cannot wait to see what you come up with 
and I cannot wait to copy your look because I have a feeling I know what colors you're going to go with. So that will be outside my comfort zone, honestly. <laughs> so I had so much fun making this video. I hope you guys got something out of this tutorial. Madeline, I just think that you were amazing and I'm so glad that you decided to collaborate with me. I feel so honored because I know you don't do a lot of collaboration. So this is so, so exciting. So I will get this uploaded and I will send it to Madeline and she will send me her, her look. And then I will do a video of me actually with my tablet copying her look. And then we will upload, um, all four of the videos on the same day. So you guys just be on the lookout for that. I will link all of her information down below, including both looks um, from her and I. I think it's a beautiful look. I think this is something that anybody can wear um, if you want to do a smoky eye without going like super, super, super dark with it. Um, because honestly, it is it is dark, but it's not as dark as like a black smoky eye. It's more of like a grayish, gray tone cool tone smoky eye so i really love it and then the pops of color on the inside just make it look really good so madeline thank you so much again and i cannot wait to see what you come up with and thank you all for watching i want to argue with any of you i will see you guys on my next video and i love you all bye